a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, you might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hey there neighbors. It is good to see you this week. Pope Joan. Pope Joan had to had to go for a little walk, but it looks like she was reading. She was reading the story of Jesus' baptism. Now this story is one of my favorite stories in the whole Bible. It's Jesus at the very beginning of his ministry. He's just a young guy and his cousin, John. Now, do any of you have cousins? John was kind of a weird guy. He ate bugs, but John was a special guy. He was sent by God to make the way for Jesus to change the world. And in this story, Jesus asked John to baptize him. Hmm. Have any of you been baptized? I know some of you have. Do you remember what it was like? If you were baptized at our church, you stood in front of the church and we prayed with you and with your family and we put some water on your head and you walked all around the sanctuary meeting your church family. Some of you might have been babies, so you might not remember. But what's it all about? Well, so when Jesus was baptized, his cousin John walked him into the Jordan River and Jesus went under the water. And when he came out, a dove flew across the waters and a voice from heaven said, this is my son, my beloved. With him, I am well pleased. And so friends, when we're baptized, what we're saying is that the most true thing about you, the most true thing about me, is that you are loved by God, that you are a child of God, and that nothing, 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 nothing that can happen to you, nothing that you could do, nothing that can happen in the world, can take that identity away from you. The creator of the universe loves you. And so, like Jesus, because we are so deeply loved, we are also immensely powerful. There's a lot of pain and suffering and meanness in our world, but you, you beloved ones, you are powerful. You can bring God's love into this world. You can do that by asking big questions, by being outrageously kind, by standing up for justice, by feeling your feelings and asking for help, by just being you. When the world feels scary, remember this. You are loved by the creator of the universe. And that love can make you and can make me brave and strong enough to be God's helper by sharing that love everywhere we go. Neighbor, it is good to be with you this week. Remember to be kind.